and you're very welcome back. It's Care FM Live 106 to 106.3 FM. I'm Peter Murphy. And there you had uh, Bridge of Wonder, a song for O'Brien's Bridge. It's a new release, Austin Jurek's new song, and it's uh, been released to mark uh, the, the Pride of Place competition, which O'Brien's Bridge Village had been selected to uh, for 2005. The launch of the CD, once again, tonight, half nine, in the Old Mill Bar. Uh, make sure you go along. It's going to be a great night there. And uh, a reminder as well for you followers of... Uh, it's a wonderful Park. place to live, really. I came here to this area about 15 years ago to live here, but my... Association with the village goes back much further than that. I worked in my early years as a bus driver and I used to travel through the village here. And I have a great love for the place and the people living in the village here are wonderful people, great neighbours, great pride in their, their area. We're right on the lower Shannon here and uh, it's, it's a terrific place to live. Many of the people who are living in the village here today have lived here for all of their lives, of course. O'Brien's Bridge is unique in every year, in, in every respect. It's one of the few villages that has survived on the Lower Shannon today, and uh, it, it's unique because of its, it, its uh, link with many of our, our, Ireland's greatest historical uh, features, like the, the William White Wars. The, the present stone bridge was built in 1690, or shortly after 1690, during the William White Wars, when the William White soldiers and the Jacobite soldiers fought on both sides of the Shannon here. So it would be very important from that point of view. We all have pride in, in our community and in our village and we know how important the river is to us. Um, the river today is, is much more passive and much more subdued than it was in pre-Shannon scheme days. For example, two thirds of the Shannon has been siphoned off to feed the power station at Arnacrusha. So we would have, in wintertime especially, we would have raging water um, very proud and determined flowing down through the village. But now, as I said, it's much, much smoother and it maybe adds to the tranquility of the village. When the Shannon scheme was built, of course, uh, due to the, the change in the, the structure of the river and the course of the river, uh, O'Brien's Bridge, in fact, became an island, which it basically is today. And looking at O'Brien's Bridge, uh, from an aerial uh, point of view, you, you, you'll actually see how O'Brien's Bridge is now cut off on all sides as a result of the Shannon scheme. Well, here behind us you have the power station at Halna Crusha, which was built during the Shannon scheme from 1926 until 1929. The whole scheme took four years to build and there was 5,000 people employed and uh, the cost was approximately five million pounds. The Shannon scheme started, the first structure was a building of a, a weir at just a mile and a half above O'Brien's Bridge and then a seven and a half mile canal as far as Arna Crusha. At Arna Crusha, a power station was built and then from the power station to rejoin the old Shannon, a tail race had to be built for a mile and a half. So the whole project covered over 10 miles. Siemens Schuchert. Four Union were the name of the company um, that they carried out the works and Simon Schuchert supplied the machinery, the generators uh, for the station. They, they carried out all the engineering aspect uh, to the scheme but the majority of the workforce were Irish. But the working conditions were extremely difficult. People really were out in all conditions. The type of work that was involved in excavating and removing material from all along the site was uh, very you know, difficult. The Shannon scheme itself was of huge benefit to the working class people who uh, got, got employment there and at a time when there was very little employment. There's hardly a family in the village or the immediate area that didn't have somebody working on the scheme at one stage or another. It trained guys, um, made skilled workers of people in the area and uh, they went on to other employment from that. So that was a huge positive impact was the employment they gave. O'Brien's Bridge really is a fisherman's paradise. Um, he, he can fish for salmon, pike and coarse fish. Now, there are uh, large amounts uh, of all type of fish in the river. It's very accessible. 
with the new walks developed, uh, it also lends itself to easy fishing off the bank. Well, the walkways were, were originally the, the old towpaths that the, the horse-drawn barges would use. The horses would use that, that as a towpath to pull the barges along the old canal system. That was before the Shannon scheme, of course. So life was very much different at that time. A number of years ago, as part of a heritage project, we restored the old towpaths paths along the walk and made a, a walkway along by the Shannon there. We restored some of the arches and the bridges there. And today it's a great amenity walk for people living in the village and people coming into the village again. There's an upstream uh, and a downstream. Well, the heritage walkway um, isn't complete because, and I, I think this is, this is great for us as a little community, because the fact that we developed a section of walkway from here down to the Erna Canal, which would be a distance about two and a half miles, um, we, we showed a way and we inspired actually two semi-state bodies like Shannon Development and Waterways Ireland. And they have taken a lead off of the work we have put into this. And they have now um, started a project which will eventually take this walkway all the way to Limerick City. Already the village of Tunlara, which is about two miles downstream, is linked to a Bryce Bridge. And this is a tremendous amenity because people will be able to walk from one village to the other without touching on a road through what, what is an unspoilt habitat of wildlife, river life, and it's truly unique. And I remember the walkway when we opened it first being described as one of the most important walkways in Clare. So we're very proud of that. Another project that we're in the process, our, our present project in fact, is the restoration of a, a 12th century Hiberno-Romanesque oratory on Inishlaski Island, which is just a little bit downstream here. Uh, it, it's, it's an island on the lower Shannon, and that oratory would have been a local church at one time. And it's in ruins now, and we're in the, in the process of restoring it as part of our next heritage project. Over the past 12 months since I've become uh, aware and since I've become their local representative it's been, a it's been a pleasure to be able to deal and work with the people involved. I think uh, it's acknowledged not only from me as a representative but also by uh, officials of Clare County Council. Uh, the hard work and the commitment given by the people on, of the Community Council in O'Brien's Bridge I think what has been achieved to date is a wonderful, wonderful uh, tribute to the people and to their commitment and effort. Not every area in, in County Clare has the facilities and the, the natural amenity that O'Brien's Bridge have, such as the River Shannon. But indeed, if it's only for the enthusiasm, the commitment and the, the will to see a project through, I think that, that in itself, if, 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 if anybody wants to, to, to see that come through, then even go no further than the committee and the people of O'Brien's Bridge. And the bridge that gave us a past to ponder is centuries old and twelve arches wide. Down below the swans sail under, then out of its shadow and into the light. There's a river that flows like no other river winding its way to the sea the river is mine and i don't mind saying no one can take this old river from me the river is mine and i don't mind saying no one can take this old river